All right, so now that you know the basics of the pen tool, I wanted to show the pen tool in use in a more real world application. So I'm gonna be tracing some parts of this Air Force One and also um, the Zoom Zap Vaporfly to kind of show you how I would create some of these more subtle curves because you're gonna be running into these kind of curves a lot when you're doing uh, shoe uppers and even soles. So I think this is a really great way to start practicing. So I highly recommend you start doing this. So to begin, real quick, I have my stroke color set to red with no fill just to show the lines very clearly. And then I have my image in one layer locked so it's not moving and I can't select it. And if you really wanted to, if it's a very like colorful image or something like that, you can always click the image and then lower the opacity. Oops, there's the other shoe. Um, but in this case, it's just a plain white shoe, so it's fine for me. And then I made a new layer on top of that. And this is the layer that I will be creating these lines and curves on. So to, be, to begin, I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna be tracing this piece, the swoosh, this piece here, and then the toe piece over here. So to begin, I'm gonna start at the back Make sure my stroke is red. And sometimes I just like to zoom in to get a little bit more of a precise look into it. And basically I'm gonna do my first click to start. And then I'm gonna kind of estimate where the first curve will end like that in order to begin the next curve like this. And once you start using it and kind of getting used to the tool, you'll understand more and you'll kind of get a better grasp of where to click off in order to create the next curve. And in this case, it kind of lines up perfectly that this curve and this curve is the pattern piece, but it's not always like that. So sometimes you might have to click off and then adjust the anchor points like I showed you in the previous foundation video. But anyway, to continue, I'm going to do that and then press A to select off. So now you see sometimes what happens if you try to continue it as one line, you see this kind of slight edge here. So what I'm going to do, select that point over here and then you can either press option and select this anchor point and then adjust it here like this or select the other one on top here and select it like that. A, click off. So you see it became a little bit smoother. And of course it's, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's a very, very minor detail, but it's always good practice to try to make it as, as perfect as you can. So selecting the pen tool again, I'm gonna continue this select and then click and drag a little bit to make a more subtle curve. And now in this case, if I want to end right here, you can see that because this anchor point is so long, it's creating a very, very big curve and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do while I have this selected is press option actually, and then make sure the little carrot icon comes up as your cursor, and then just bring down that anchor point and if you do that, and you go back to the pen tool, then you'll see it's much easier to create a smaller and smoother curve. And in this case, I can probably continue this curve like this, but I'll, what, what I'm gonna do is just do that same thing and then just angle it a little lower so I have more control and a little bit of a sharper edge so just because that's where this pattern piece is meeting the lining. And then let's see if I can finish it like that with just one long curve. Yeah. So that's one piece. And then now I'm going to go with a swoosh. So 
I'm going to start just at the end of that piece here. And you'll notice it's not a it's not really a straight line. It is a very, very subtle curve. So what I'm gonna do is kind of estimate this curve will probably start straightening out over here around. And you can always go back and adjust it if you need to. But for now, I'm going to select this, click and drag, and then I can probably do just do the second curve like that and then adjust it. Sometimes when you do that, you'll have that slight jagged edge here, but I think in this case it worked perfectly fine. So to continue the swoosh, I'm gonna pick up from where I last left off, and then I can't, it's, it's gonna be very difficult to just do one exaggerated curve like that because it's gonna be too sharp of an angle. So I'm gonna kind of split it in two. And you'll know these little things while you start practicing and learning and you just keep doing it. So I made the first half and then I can either continue like this and adjust it, but I think I'm gonna adjust it now. Make that anchor point a little shorter so I have more control of the curve here. Click, drag, like that. And then continuing, click, and then you, because it's such a long line, I'm actually dragging it pretty, pretty far and trying to match up with the angle of the swoosh. Bring the anchor point in and then what I, what we do in Illustrator, we don't, we usually don't have to kind of mimic the line of the top pattern piece because everything is built in layers. So we can just close the shape like that. And then if you see, that, oh, maybe it needs a little bit of adjusting. You can always just press A, which is your direct selection tool. And then click any anchor points that you think might need adjusting, zoom in and out. And to zoom, it's command and either plus or minus. So you have this anchor point, press option. So moving on to this back piece here, we can see that this piece is behind the swoosh. So normally what I would do is just kind of continue the line anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start at the top here. And then because it's in or it's behind the swoosh, I'm just going to end where it meets the swoosh, create my curve, try to match it exactly. And then in this case, I'm going to try to kind of guess the angle of the curve here. And I think I'm able to do that with just one more click if I do it like that. And I think that's a pretty good, pretty good match. So I'm just going to finish making the shape here, here, and here. Now you can see if I want to make it fairly straight, I can't because of the anchor point. So once again, op press option, drag the anchor point to the direction I want it to go. And then I'll just click. And then it's this piece here meets the end of the heel piece here. So I'm going to click and then drag. Now because this is, once again, under all of these other pieces. I'm just going to eventually just get to the place I want to go without needing to create the rest of the shoe back here. And then I'm going to see if this is going to work with one line or one curve, but it may not. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. And to finish it off, because of the anchor line or anchor point. I'm gonna do that and then just kind of shorten it and then point it in the general direction I want it to go. So I'm going to go about midway here because it's a short, small curve. Do that and then finish it off. 
and then as you can see it's not exactly perfect so what I might do is go back with the selection tool and then just tweak it a little bit by moving the vector points and the anchor points like so and then the last piece I'm gonna do is this toe piece here so I'm gonna start here just put that straight now in this case you can see this is a very kind of clean curve so you what you can do is you know make it like that but there is a little shortcut or a little trick what you can do is just kind of make sure you have a right angle here and I'm just gonna finish that curve press A and then click that angle point and you'll see this little circle icon and then when you put your mouse over it you'll see there's the cursor and then a little quarter circle icon here if you click it then you can actually drag it to create a very equal and clean curve so that's what I'm going to use for this piece here press P go back and then finish my piece now here because it's not a straight line but it's not a very severe curve either I think I can afford to go pretty far out not as far as here but maybe about halfway the length of this pattern piece down here click drag and then option drag the anchor point back click to the end like that and you'll see once again the anchor point is just not positioned correctly so what I need to do is just do that and now you can make a more accurate curve and then finish <laughs>